I guess I'm closing in on a week in Puerto Rico. But I've never seen a, a entire a entire region so knocked so thoroughly flat. If you leave San Juan and go out into the countryside at nighttime, you're traveling in the dark. Once in a while, you'll see a little little point of light somewhere, and you know that somebody there, some lucky soul, has a generator. No cell phone service. Extremely little electricity. Uh, this area, this area is in, in, in a bad way, and it's going to need help for a long time to come. I've been here, it's rained every day, sometimes provincially. And this is an area that does not need any more rain, believe me. Some of the forests outside of the chapel here have had mudslides and lost trees. As I'm speaking right now, I'm on a balcony at the convention center in San Juan, and it's raining again. The Fish and Wildlife Service has almost 60 people working in refuges uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And uh, they all stayed here and most of them have pitched in to help. And uh, Fish and Wildlife sent an additional 30 people, mostly from the Southeast, to uh, help out. That included people uh, trained in uh, medical procedures, uh, guys who wield a mean chainsaw, uh, just some strong bodies, law enforcement officers, whatever was needed. And tonight I will be staying on a cot at the convention center in San Juan. And one night, uh, I, I can't leave this out, one night I tried to get a military flight out from another airport. And uh, got bumped on one flight because the Marines showed up. Then I signed up for another flight. Two hours later, more Marines showed up. I got bumped again. And the sergeant in the Army came up and said, Mr. Davis, we have a 2 a.m. flight going to Charleston. I said, I'm on it. Then they canceled that flight. So uh, that night I slept on the floor, and right as I went to sleep, the roof started leaking. Not the best night, but it beats, uh, beats accommodation that some of these other people have. These folks uh, have stood up and faced this with uncommon bravery. Uh, I suppose if you live on an island nation, you accept the fact that uh, you're going to be looking at mayhem from the heavens once in a while. But even so, uh, these people uh, are upbeat, they're tough, they believe that their island will come, uh, come trotting back, and I believe it too. What do you feel like people in America should keep in mind um, moving forward regarding the needs of Puerto Rico, our fellow Americans? Well, it's a, it's a great chance to lay aside the differences and focus on our neighbors to the south. Uh, you know, you might get peeps sometimes in water heater breaks, or you get a temporary power box, but it can't touch. It ain't nothing to what's happened here. And this is, don't, and you're right, don't forget, this is a U.S. territory, and so are the Virgin Islands. These people need our help, and our country owes it to them to help them as much as we can. Mm -hmm.